Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Hey, well, you know, you guys ever thought about this? What would be the best thing to do? What would be the best? Would you think that having solar for a house, power? Or would you think a generator might be your best bet? I gotta tell you something. Um, we're here to talk about that today. Some great points. Recently, I've been gone out of my house for, you well, know, a few months, six, eight months or so, give or take. A little longer, a little less, I don't remember exactly. I didn't keep a count. The solar system that I have on the roof, I had uh, five, six, seven panels and produced me a kilowatt to kilowatt and a half a day uh, solar and sustained my house here fine. Well, this time goes on, those those panels deteriorate because the sun is so strong here that you find yourself constantly replacing the wires, the wires. So I put them in conduit and um, got them squared away, got that done, and in some cases the conduit has been uh, melted from the sun and the aluminum uh, on the roof and it's melted. Can you believe how hot it gets here? But that roof produces a lot of heat, and so, uh, which caused problems in the wiring. So I bought new wiring, paid a lot of money for a big roll of wiring, so I had it rewired. But since I was gone, the system died. Since I was gone, eventually something happened, and I'm only getting very little power out of it. I need someone to come out. But I gotta tell you something, generators seem to be the new thing. Not saying that the, the solar is not the way to go. Solar is the way to go because inexpensively you'll need to put in about three to four grand maybe five grand on your system to give you 100 percent power all the power you need for your air cons your fridges your stoves and things like that the thing of it is that people don't really realize that sometimes by having something else can be better for you in the long run so today i'm here to talk about something that i found very interesting recently when i first moved here back in um I came to the Philippines in 15 and uh, ended up getting married in 16. Left, come back, left, come back, you know, and got married in 16. And one of the things that I said I'm going to do was to always try to get solar and or generators. So I started looking at generators. Generators would run anywhere from three, four, five grand on the low end, medium and high end, five grand for a generator. Well, I went to everywhere I could go. Ended up going to CDO Davo, and I made a trip to Cebu, looking at generators. And at that time, it was really hard to find a generator that would work what I need. So what I did was, I said, okay, so I put all my efforts into solar and spent a couple grand on my solar and got it up and running. And it produces me about a kilowatt a day now, or did. And the problem with the solar, it seemed to be on and off. What I mean by that is is the lithium batteries I bought maybe not have been good quality. And that's what you get. Sometimes it's just the way life crumbles that way, right? So it seemed to be a lot taking charge a lot. And these are lithium ion batteries. These are the best you could buy. But you can buy two of those batteries now. And it's going to cost you about six or eight hundred maybe a thousand dollars for these batteries depending on what type and brand you buy some guys said i find them cheaper but really in the long run the guys that are telling me that they send me a link and it ends up being more expensive than what they tell you so what i did was i've been doing some research recently and i was looking you can actually buy a generator my friend bought one for his restaurant in town he has he has uh, two freezers, and I'm talking chest-type freezers, uh, long freezers, uh, four or five foot freezers, you know, chest type freezers. And he has uh, three stand-up coolers, Coca-Cola coolers, you know, for drinks, cold beer, water. I mean, he's got one solid of beer. I mean, he go through beer like crazy at his restaurant. I mean, and then he's got other one that he stores his food, his mayonnaise, and all that stuff in, and they're in the back. And then he has, of course, his fryer, which is gas and some of the other things. But he does have hot plates and he's got a coffee maker that's electric. You know, his grinder, he's got an espresso machine, all that's electric. There's a lot of things that are electric in there. And so what he did was he went and, uh, you guys know Ollie, 
and he went and said, okay, I got to figure out how to get power because the power outages here are getting more frequent than they ever have been. The grid here is starting to shut down. And on a negative note, sorry to say that, it's just starting to shut down. And not just here, not just where I'm at, everywhere we've been, Cebu, Elo, all the places we've been, it's the grid shutting down. And I mean, we're talking a lot of power outages. We're not talking 10 or 20 a month. We're talking 50. We're talking 40. I mean, even CBO, where they're really producing the power, and it's really a great place. Most of the power's coming out of there. We have a dam here that's produced a lot also. It's the only Filipino dam. Uh, the government owns this dam and it produces all electric. So our electricity is going from two or three different sources there. You know, diesel, you know, coal still, believe it or not, and diesel. So we're paying diesel to run cool figure, right? So thinking of that situation got me thinking, diesel. So I talked to an electrical guy the other day. And he said, yeah, they're using diesels uh, to generate for gen diesel generators out at the dam. I go, what? Using diesel generator? Yeah, he says it, it comes in on the tankers. They're a CDO and they just, you know, go dump the 40 gallon you know, a, a tanker can depend on size. The tanker can hold, uh, you know, 25, 30,000 gallons of fuel. He said, they'll just line those up out there and just bring that in. He said, that's what keeps all the power going in uh, the southern part of all Mindanao, CDO, Davo, all those places. And he said, you're getting 60, 70, 80 brownouts. And I said, well, uh, in talking to him at that time, I had one that morning. Even today, I had two today. And it's not bad, two hour brownouts. But I may have two more at the end of the day. So you prepare for that. Anyway, you he went and bought a thousand dollar generator. Okay, now this thousand dollar generator gives the capability, it's a square generator, it's um five kilowatts. So it'll produce five kilowatts for him. It'll produce, it'll cover his air cons, he can run his air con. Uh, he's got two air cons. It won't run the real big air con. I think that's a three or four horse, but it'll run a two horse air con easy. His air cons, his freezers, his two chests, his three stand-up coolers. So it'll run all the things, his lights, uh, you know, phone plug-ins, espresso machines, his blenders, the, the grinder grinds the coffee, all those, all the things that he has in that restaurant, which is a bunch of stuff. Because he does pizzas and, you know, uh, he's got a, you know, slicer back there and slices. He's, he's got all the things a person would need. He's from USA. And he knows the product. So that's when he opened up his restaurant. He said, I'm not going to be like everybody else. He has, uh, uh, you know, the legitimate USA type stuff. He's got an up blast fan on the roof that runs. I mean, just running that up blast fan has got to pull a lot of power. Those motors are pretty big motors on them, you know. So long story short, 1000 bucks. So he said he paid 1000 bucks for that. And it runs his restaurant. Now, I was gone. I didn't know he bought one. So I'm in a restaurant, we have power out. I go, oh man, and I've been there. It gets hot in there quick. He said, no worries. Oh, he said, just wait. We're waiting, waiting. In about 30 seconds or 40, a ah, minute, maybe a little longer. It kicks on. I go, oh, power came back on. He goes, no. And he said, I said power, he goes, no. I said, what is it? He said, I got a generator. I said, you bought a generator? He goes, yeah. So I went out back to look at his new generator. Thinks nice. So yeah, it's running the whole restaurant. He says, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to do anything. I said, would you pay for that? That's what I want, a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. I can do that here. I'm gonna need to put a thousand bucks just in that. So I said to myself, maybe a generator. He said, yeah, they delivered it. They set it up. I had an electrician come and wire it. He put it in Romex. And then the rest of it went in Condact, Conduit. So he had Romex certain way, then he had conduit, completely installed with the new breaker box, the whole nine yards. He says, I ain't worried about it, let it go out, all at once. And he said, it'll run um, 13 hours on the fuel in the tank, it's diesel. And he said, it'll run 13 hours. So I have a long day, it runs 13 hours. He said, let's let it run, what do I care? He said, I said, how much will the fuel cost? He said, it'll cost about it might end up costing me, so if I ran that 13 liters, or yeah, or 13, excuse me, 13 hours, 
He said not 13 liters. I don't know how many liters it holds. Uh, he said it'll cost me about uh, maybe $10 or $12 in the long run. I said, really? He goes, yeah, it's, this is not, I thought it would be horrible in fuel pump, but it's, 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 it runs constant. And then if it, uh, the, you know, the power you turn on something, it'll, it'll kick on. But he said, you'll find most of the time that it runs constant. It's not constantly up and down, up and down, up and down. When you like turn on the fridge or you have a refrigerator, you open up your refrigerator. He said, it's not like that. So I'm going to tell you guys here that's coming here. Maybe you could look at something like that. Just buy, buy both, you know, cloudy days. Because sometimes it'll get cloudy two, three, four days in a row here. Gray skies. Or you got storms coming in the afternoon, you don't get a full day charge. But sometimes the batteries will not charge fully charged. They'll get about 80% because the way the way the way it is, it rains here. Sometimes it rains in the morning, sometimes it just rains all day, and sometimes it rains three times a day. It depends on where you live here in the Philippines. Or on Tropical Island. I mean, you know, it's like Hawaii. I mean, it rained every day I was there. It rains in Florida every day, especially in the summer months. So it gives it another opportunity for so over a thousand bucks uh, plus installation of the unit automatically kicks on. Just put your, uh, a switch on it. Uh, electricity leads to wire up the house or wire up two houses. In our case, I was supplying power for two houses. You know, the fans, uh, maybe inverter stove, whatever, fridge over there, you know, whatever that I have over there. So I supply power with that. Now, if you think about it, I pay about $150 a month, $140 a month for electric. And in the States, when I left there, I was paying like 60, 65 bucks a month in my RV uh, there in the lot and things like that. My friend's paying, I think his bill last month there in Florida was uh, 50 bucks, $55. So I constantly ask the guys, this is, I have a friend, I have friends all over there, but uh, I asked a friend of mine, I said, what's your electricity? He lives in a condo there in South South Beach. And he said, I paid uh, $82, something like that. Another guy paid $100. So uh, that his friend was there. He said, yeah, mine was 100 but he lives on a top floor. The sun's always beating on it. So it gives you ideas. And so that's how I would gauge what's going on here to the States. Now, uh, comp and if you go to Tennessee, TVA, my brother's paying $50 a month on his electricity. Uh, and that's what it cost him. He said, I, I got TVA, uh, Tennessee Valley Authority. He said, Tom, it's, it's 50 bucks. And I complained at 50 bucks. But we do have heat and heaters and all the other stuff that comes in the winter months. Might get up about 80 bucks, but she said, I, I rarely pay over $100. Now, some guys would tell me, it depends where you live. If you live up north, you're going to be paying three, four, five hundred dollars $500 a month and not counting the, the propane and the, the gas. So that's the thing. Here in the Philippines, you can actually live cheaper if you do, if you are smart, if you're smart. But some guys are spending as much as they did in the States by living here. In other words, their income, uh, what they're receiving, uh, they are spend the same as the States and same as here because they're living that Western lifestyle. So that's what's gonna happen. I mean, they still have the McDonald's, they have the Burger Kings, they have the Jollibee's, there, there are some steak houses here. There is Outback, it's gonna cost you 50 bucks a steak here. But there's a, there's a lot of things that it's the same here as it is in the States. But if you choose to live the lifestyle, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. But I know that I couldn't believe it. So for a thousand bucks, you can get yourself a generator, diesel generator, put it on your house. We got to worry about power for you. Don't have to worry about power anymore. Just fill up the the diesel, whatever, once a month, once every two months. I think he said he's filled his up. And he's had it now for about seven months, and it goes out almost every day, every other day. I think he said he filled it up about three times. But see, the power outages, depending, like my power outage here, I won't have as many here where I'm at compared to in town. In town, they'll have quite a few more. But there's maybe less time-wise. They'll have more. And I think what they're doing, they're doing power saving. Here at night, it goes off now, ever since I've been back here from CDL, uh, it's been going out at six and come back on at seven, every night. So they must be doing something. Sometimes they do it to get the meter going. So like say for instance, people forget to turn off their fridge, unplug it, 
or air con or whatever, they're gone out of the house, they leave the air on or leave something on, the fans, whatever. So when that comes back on, that meter will just spin like this, you know, because the surge of power going back in there and it just gets it going again. So we unplug everything and do it. I won't, you won't have to do worry about it with a generator. So when a power comes back on, you don't have to worry about internet. You don't have to worry about anything. So God bless everybody. Hopefully this video helped everybody. I'll see you guys next time on Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures.